138 in progress. We have a problem. Attention problem podcast. Hey, Hydro, this is uh, Alan Clark from uh, Potential Problems Podcast. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you doing, man? Good, good. Saying you're doing some work. So a little bit of a background on you. Um, I'm looking at your website. You've got four CDs and uh, a couple singles that you've done with other people. Uh, you had that Occupy song with uh, Gia K, and um, that one actually got quite a few hits online, and uh, I thought that was kind of cool, but you also run hip hop roots in Las Vegas. You do tours to promote your music and uh like like myself you also use a lot of raw papers so I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, I have uh five albums out actually right now. Two of those are collaborative albums. One of them the fourth album that I released was a collaboration with a local hip hop artist here named Shamrock. It's a full length album. And then the fifth album I released it was a really awesome album. It's one of my favorites. It has a live reggae band backing me with a beatboxer and saxophone. It's just this really cool collaboration of sound. Um, the first week of release on iTunes, we broke the top 50. Uh, and I have no big promotion. We basically just do everything independent ourselves. So we were really excited to get such a big buzz out of it. Our fans pressed it out to everybody. And, um, you know, it was a pretty big success for us. So that was a good album. Um, I do the hip hop roots. Uh, weekly out here in Vegas. We're extending it to a bi-weekly for all ages events in North Las Vegas so the kids can get into it. And then I try to do monthly events that are bigger out here so we can bring out like hieroglyphics, the Aesop Rocks and stuff for people that are on that caliber so that Vegas has you know, some good hip hop shows coming and the locals can work their way up to open up for these acts, you know. That's pretty um, cool. cool. Um, would you say that uh, running Hip Hop Roots has kind of helped out uh, with promoting yourself for out of towners and you know getting to getting more of a presence in other cities? It definitely did. I mean, it started out as a benefit for me as far as having uh, connections in other cities for people that were touring in. But what it also ended up doing is it gave me the ability to spread Hip Hop Roots. A couple years into doing Hip Hop Roots, I thought to myself, like, how cool would it be? Um, as more and more MCs and producers and DJs came through, they just said, like, I wish our city had something like this. It's positive. You've never once had a fight. It's going six years, 350 weeks straight. Uh, it's like it's just unheard of for hip hop, any genre down there to, to keep something going like that positive for that long. So people would admire it. And the ones that were serious and, and involved in promotions in their cities, I ended up reaching out to and we opened up chapters and it's five other locations across the United States. So I currently have six chapters of hip-hop groups that run monthlies in Dallas, Texas, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Salt Lake City, Utah, San Diego, and um, I think I mentioned Boise, Boise and Cedar Rapids. So it's really cool. I'm trying to put one of these in every state so that we can extend it all the way across the United States and create something that's never been made before. And that's an independent hip-hop web of people that can basically just you know travel across the nation have serious people that are really going to be there and help out when you come and tour and build a network of people that are, are putting out good music because the record companies these days they kind of own the sound and the style of things and in my opinion it's quite a dumbed down sound it's like they're not really um, wanting people to be uplifted and that's what hip-hop was originally about so that's what i'm trying to do is bring it back to the essence of where it's at celebrate the elements of hip-hop because people forget about graffiti break dancing beatboxing emceeing djing it's there's really an art form to this culture and that's what we do is just keep that fresh in people's minds you know? Cool, cool. Um, and being that you know you have sort of this uh, this group uh, spread across the country, whenever you go to places, you know, depending on certain legalities, you most likely don't bring anything with you across state borders. Are people generally pretty accommodating towards you know sharing local flavors? Yeah, I'm pretty fortunate to be <laughs> blessed in that field, especially with my success from the Secret Cup anthem. Um, I had a song that I put out for um, uh, hashtagging competition that goes on in the United States. It's one of the most esteemed that there is. It's called the Secret Cup. Uh, I made a video for that, and the video got a lot of buzz in the community to the point that Snoop Dogg's people fought. And they put it on a show that he runs called The Underground Heat, and it's a competition for the best underground videos you know, that are out. I won first place. So I got a lot of buzz through all of that, and um, since then, it, it's, it's been pretty awesome. Each time that I go into a city, people are very accommodating, to say the least, to show me flavors. <laughs> I'm sponsored by Raw Rolling Papers. Um, they're family of mine. I've been 
it's a good smoker karma, you know. I've been using those papers forever, ever since they came out. And I would always share them with friends and tell them how amazing they were. And one day, the representative from Raw contacted my manager and asked uh, us to run an event out here for them. They wanted it to be at a club, but they didn't want the club promoters to have hands-on on it. They wanted the culture, the local community. So they looked up everything Vegas hip-hop-wise, and they found me and Hip Hop Roots. So originally, that's how our relationship came about, is they wanted me to run a show out here with Currency and Devin the Dude. And uh, it ended up turning into them flying out, meeting me, checking out Hip Hop Roots, deciding to sponsor me, bring me on board with the family. And they've shown nothing but love since, and I show it as well. So all of our chapters, main sponsors, raw rolling papers. And you know, we get involved in the local smoke shops, and they help support each of our chapters. And that's a family type thing, you know? Well, cool. Um well, uh, it would be cool to maybe have you in as a guest for the for a full show whenever you come through Albuquerque. Um, definitely, thank you for taking you know this ten minutes to talk to me. Oh, I would love to for sure. Do you mind if I shout out a couple things that have coming up? Feel free. Okay, cool. I've got uh, the Bongs and Beats tour sponsored by Zob Glasses in September. That's when I'm trying to come see you for the birthday gift there, you know. Yeah, right. You know, a, raw, a raw gift pack. And then um, in November, I'm very blessed. I'm going on tour with Fortunate Youth, which is a really big reggae band that's been blowing up. They're buddies of mine. I put them in touch with Raw, and Raw sponsored them and has helped them out on tours. So they're taking me on the West Coast leg of the tour that they have coming up fall with friends it's like 600 people in every city all the way up from cali to washington so i'm very stoked i've been wanting to incorporate my hip-hop message with the reggae community more i'm heavily influenced by reggae music and um as you see in the occupy single that's up on youtube it has a reggae singer gia k in it that's the next thing i'm going to is that we're working on an album together right now it's, it's almost complete so keep an eye out for that gia k and hydro it's produced by inkwell one of the main guys that i work with here in vegas and um yeah i mean check out iamhydro.com spelled h-i-g-h-d-r-o and you can see all my tour dates my music videos check out some music stuff on itunes yeah, that's pretty much it all right man uh definitely thanks again for uh for your time Oh, thank you so much. Man. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me on the show. I support what you guys are doing big time. So I'll Thanks, see you soon. Man. All right. Take care. All right. Okay, bless.